Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Showtime and Seasons. Today is February the 14th. Yes, Friday, February the 14th. It is Valentine's Day, folks. And it just so happens by coincidence that today in The Sims, it is also uh, Love Day. Here it is. Today is Love Day. <laughs> Couldn't have timed it any better. Love Day coinciding with its real-life counterpart. And, uh, well, let's see what we can get up to with The Sims 3, uh, with the Jones family, in terms of Love Day. I have tried to do a little bit of research about Love Day before starting today's session to get a heads up on what we can do. And there doesn't seem to be a massive great deal. We can take them down to the festival, the Spring Festival. Um, and it's just the whole heap of sending love letters and stuff. Now, Louis Jones could really do with finding himself a partner. It's been long enough now. He's a superstar, almost. What is his career? What is his uh, celebrity status? He's level two, but he's a singer. He's rising up the ranks. He's playing his gigs. Soon women will be throwing themselves at his feet. And it is only right that he find himself a partner. Maybe two or three. Who knows? And Love Day could just be the start of that. Anyway, the start of today's session. We have been blessed with Ethan going down for a bit of a late night snack. Blueberry muffin at 2am? Why not? It is the weekend. It is a day off from work. It is Love Day. The perfect day to eat a muffin. A blueberry muffin to be precise. So uh, yeah, we'll let him eat his muffin, and then we're going to take him straight back to bed. Because if he gets up now, he won't make the end of the uh, mm -hmm. the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So uh, just uh, chowing down, filling his stomach, getting rid of those hunger pangs. And no, we won't watch TV. Although we could, and then maybe go for a slight nap. He's upset though. Why is he upset? Who knows? But anyway, it's not time to rise up yet, Ethan. Off we go, back to bed. Watching TV at bloody half past two in the morning. I mean, how ludicrous. <sighs> right. And if I'm not mistaken, today it might also be Geoffrey Jones's prom day. So we'll have to t play that by ear. And Louis does also have a gig today at Flying V's Coffee House at 5.30. So, we have a rather action-packed schedule today, and you know what's going to happen. There's no way I'm going to be able to follow every single thing, but I'm going to do my best. <laughs> Proms, gigs... Hello? What is happening? Why are we getting this music? Why are we getting this music? We got this music last time in the last session. I did not know what the hell it was. There's no ghosts appearing, so it's not a ghost. Just do not know what it is. Weird. Right, now Maya's up and Adam, and she wants to go and have... Uh... Oh! We do have a burglar! Ah! Well, blow me sideways! And just like an episode gone by, it seems to be the females of the family that are the feisty ones. Remember Jun as an old lady tackling the burglar and winning? Looks like Maya is going to have uh, a bit of her mother's genes in her after all. Or maybe she's not. Yep, she is. She's just making her mind up. Oh, and here comes Louis as well. Everybody's going to attack the burglar. And Joffrey's feeling rebellious. Well, isn't that grand? Where's he going? If somebody tackled the bur oh the police are here. About bloody time. I thought she was going to tackle the burglar, but no, she's not. She's just here too. Oh, and here comes the police. It's a fight. The fight is breaking out. And who is got who stripped off? Up. There we go. Oh, the whole family's up now. <laughs> yep, we got a burglar. 
What a way to start Love Day, eh? That's it, cuff him up. And don't forget to return our goodies. Uh, my car, thank you. Uh, of all the cars to steal, he he didn't he left the Ferrari and stole the the, the the saloon. I mean, come on, you're a burglar with poor taste. Uh, a lot of people, can we have our cars back? Family inventory, maybe. Can I enter while you're being robbed? <laughs> Isn't that nice? Now everybody is up, and we don't have the full uh, you know we don't have full replenishment from our energy stores, so. Uh, um, Hmm. You're going to survey the house. Okay. This really has been a bad start to the session. <laughs> it's supposed to be a day of celebration, a day of spreading the love. And we get a burglar. Can people go back to bed? I mean, we're not ready to get up yet. It's it's 6am and some of us are still not completely refreshed. Right, who needs the most sleep? Joffrey? He's cooking something. Why are you cooking, Joffrey? Why? Are you going to burn down the house? Excuse me, officer! Can you crack on with your job and stop trying to flirt and chat up Maya? There's burglars to apprehend here. Thank you. Right, now get out of here. If Ethan catches you, you'll be for the high jump. Uh, Maya, Salad stop chatting up the policeman. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Midlife crisis. Oh, re oh, rebellious streak. He wants to beat somebody up. And guess who's top of his beat up list? A certain Mr. Louis Jones, perchance. Could well be. Oh dear. I'm just intrigued as to what's going on here. Who? Turn. Oh, and it seems as if mm. the conversation has taken a turn for the worst. Let's take a look at the relationship here. Oh my god, they're already acquaintances and she wants to become good friends with him. Well, well, well. This is an interesting Your. proposition indeed. Is the burglar still waiting here? He's thinking, what the hell's going on in here? Just take me to jail, will you? <laughs> Looks like our policeman friend had other things on his mind. Oh. <laughs> Now he's cracking on with his uh, job. Nice of you to pop by, Mr. Policeman. Hope to never see you again. Although Maya might think differently, I don't know. Right, it's Love Day, and oh, he's gone back to bed. Well, at least somebody's got some sense. He's got a big gig tonight, so he cannot afford to be tired, so this is great stuff. Uh, she's taking a bath, is our good friend Julia, and today what she's going to do is she's going to invite over her newly met friend at school, Faye Winters. Get to know her a little better. See if we can invite her over after she's been to the toilet, of course. Nothing worse than having a, uh, a full bladder. So I'm just going to try and uh, let the Sims do what as they please within reason. I think micromanaging with five Sims is a very, very arduous task. So we'll just let them crack on with their own devices and just intervene when we need to, when we need to get them to do something specific. And uh, yeah, Faye's coming over, so we can uh, have some fun and games with each other there, play some swings and all the rest of it. Actually, something suddenly came up and I can't... Oh, that's, oh, that's a shame. Saying she'd come over and then she's lied to us, basically. I don't believe her. Julia, stri strike her off your friends list. Oh, business model. Hey, Superstar, this is, once again, your irksome agent calling. Listen, Broad Street Business Tower and Grill just called to sign you a record... Sign you to record, rather, a radio commercial for their new product, Lama Musk Perfume. <laughs> what? Okay, they want me to try and sell them some Lama Musk. Why not? Why not? We get paid, after all. Right, is he getting up yet? He's, 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 he's making his bed, so he's, he's good to go. We're going to clean the house. Make the house spotless and sparkly. And then we're going to have a wee peek in here. See if there's any love letters waiting for our blue singing superstar. <laughs> what are they doing? Mother and daughter having a wee gossip in the bathroom? 
Look at their relationship blossoming. In fact, let's do something together. Why not? Come on. Should we play hopscotch? No, I'll push on the swing. Or we could hang out. Well, well, maybe we could. I could go play guitar. Why not? Okay. You go play guitar. Woohoo in the treehouse. It is love day after all, and somebody requested this. So, <laughs> rather randomly at 8:56 a.m., I think uh, Mr. Ethan's feeling a bit frisky today. Uh, and she would rather make funny faces and act like an animal. Ooh, look at that. No wooing, no flowers, no caressing, no massage. Just straight to the action here. Holy moly. Ethan doesn't mess about, does he? Right. Love letter to, uh, to from Maya, from Johnny Five. Yeah. Bin. Yeah. Maya got a letter in the mail from Rich Richmond. Nope. Letter for Ethan from Jesse Lou. Nope. Letter for Maya from Jonas Cummings. Ugh, hell no. <laughs> Not a letter for our good friend, Louis. We're going to have to sort that out, aren't we? Hey, Louis, this is your agent. I know you're awesome. We all know you're awesome. But let's face it, you could be even more awesome. There's a celebrity by the name of Raymond Sagar that I think you should meet. Uh, no, thank you. I've got a busy day today. Can't be messing about here with celebrities. I want to send a love letter. Who does you want to send a love letter to? We have two candidates. We have uh, her. Oh, I like Mercedes May. She's got a sweet face. She looks young, virile, looks like a barrel of laughs. She looks a bit more boring, to be fair. <laughs> Sorry about that, dear. Okay, so what was she called? M for Mercedes. Mercedes! Mercedes May! She's a friend. She's at home. Send her a love letter. And then, perhaps... Invite her out, where we might get to know her a bit better, a bit better. Yes, it's beginning to take shape. Is the old block? Oh my God, the treehouse is shaking here. Is there a storm afoot? No, there's not. But there's a pink gnome that's just appeared. Booktooth Butternut. <laughs> what on earth? Right. Maya Jones just enjoyed a great woohoo in the treehouse. Love day indeed. One for the uh, archives, I think. A famous frolic is certainly a memory that won't be forgotten soon. <laughs> okay, we're going to take her out for a bite to eat. So where are we going to do that? Coffee house? Or maybe somewhere a little bit... Flying V's? Maybe we're going to Flying V's later for this show. Yeah, go on then. At least we're nearby when the show starts. Flying V's for a bit of a uh, liaising. <laughs> Did you write the love yeah. letter? She's going to meet us there. Woohoo, we are off and running. See ya, folks. I'm hungry, and I've got myself a wee rendezvous with a certain Mercedes May. Don't wait up for me. These two have uh, done the dastardly deed, and he's off to watch TV now, is he? <laughs> okay, right. Before we continue on, it is uh, day number four for the Father v Son competition. We have chess, which was won by Ethan Jones. We have the football soccer scoring penalty shootout thing, which was won by Ethan. And then Joffrey clawed it back by winning the table foosball, which leaves... The fourth event, the darts. If it goes to two all, they shall go to the nearest bar tomorrow, or whenever we return from our holiday, and uh, that will be uh, a game of pool for the grand finale. But we have to get to that stage. And for that to happen, Joffrey has to win. So uh, let's get cracking. We're going to play some darts with Joffrey. And uh, let's see who shall prevail. And look at these two. Once again, back to gossiping in the bathroom. It's becoming somewhat of a daily uh, a daily occurrence here, these two. Is she doing her homework? It's, it's a weekend. What are you doing your homework for? Oh, oh, oh workout time. 
Okay, let's go. Now, I don't know how we're going to ascertain who wins Lumitin here, X. but uh, that, to me, is definitely a big fail. <laughs> I have to excuse my sniffing. My cold still hasn't subsided just yet. Let's uh, zoom in and see what the score is. That's 13 points. And one more. Horrible. Best of three. Is this going to be best of three, this is? And voila! And that's a 25, so that's a grand total of 38. 38 to beat, Joffrey. See if he can do it. Here we go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! What the? Ooh, double 18, that's 36. Is he a secret uh, dart extraordinaire? Oh! In the bowl! That's 25! What's that? That's a lot. <laughs> My mouse has now failed me miserably. So that's 36, 25, oh here we go, another superstar shot! And boof! Treble 19, 50! Oh my god, look at that! I think we've got uh, the next Phil Taylor here. 1-0 to Joffrey! <laughs> He's thinking, what the hell is going on? You've never picked up and thrown a dad in his entire life? Now he's an expert all of a sudden? Right, 1-0 to Joffrey. Oh! Ethan oh. <laughs> fluffs his lines again. How's the date? How's the date going? Listen to complaint. Uh oh, not good. And another one outside the board. Oh my God! Zero points. Ethan is hopeless at darts. Chess, not a tr not a problem. Darts massive problems. I think you better go record your commercial because uh, this is going to uh, be a read them and weep type situation. Look at that, he's good at that, you know. Double 16, 32, he's won already. <laughs> Boom! Double 40, <laughs> he's just taking the mick here. <laughs> I think we found uh, this, uh, you know, this town's Darts Hustler and Treble 17! Two doubles, a treble. Where did he get this inner talent from? I'm, I'm actually quite intrigued here. Right, well, it's 2 0, it's game over. Throwing darts. He just rocked up with his bunny slippers and kicked his ass. <laughs> Sorry, Pops. Read him a weep. Right, he's have to record his commercial in a bit of a huff, and it's 2 all. The Father of his Son competition has come down to. The final event. It's going to be pool. It's going to be in the next. Bar. It's going to be in a bar, and it's going to be uh, well when they return from Egypt, because that's where they're going tomorrow. So uh, well, <laughs> it's gone down to the the, the the final reckoning, which is uh, a little bit of a surprise, but certainly is uh, certainly leaves us uh, with a little bit of excitement, a bit of anticipation. Who shall be crowned champion?